Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create construction sequence, session play, animation in SketchUp. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have already created a column stretcher in the drawing area. You can use any object you want. And in order to create construction sequence, session play, animation, you need to create a group from every object from which you want to create animation. So let's select all these objects and right click on it and choose make group. Now I'm going to do this group and use the session plane and place the session plane at the top of this column stretcher and select this and move it in the downward direction until all the object has disappeared. Okay, let's place uh, right here. Okay, now we need to hide this session play. Okay, click on this uh, second tool. Now let's create a scene. You need to be careful with this step because no object can appear in this scene. Okay, we got the scene number one with no object in the scene. Now we need to create scene number two for the column stretcher. So click add. Okay, in this scene, we need to uh, see the column stretcher. So unhide the session plane. Now get into this groove and select this and right click and deselect edit cut. Okay, we just want to see the column stretcher. So let's hide the session plane again and let's update the scene number two. Okay, now let's test this. Okay, no object. Now click scene 2. Okay, now column stretcher. So this is working perfectly. And you can also adjust your camera position in this scene. Okay, let me explain one more time with another object. Okay, let's adjust this camera position first. Right click and update it. Now let's unhide the object which I have already imported in the scene. So let's go to the edit and choose space in place. You can use any object you want. Okay, I'm going to use this relin. And now get into this group. And let's use the session plane just like before. You can place this session plane on any side. I'm going to place on this side. And now select this. And move this session plane to the left side until all the object has disappeared. Now we need to go to the scene number two uh, because we need to check all the scene. Okay, in this scene, the relay should not be appear, so we need to fix that. So get into this group. Now select this session plane and right click and choose edit cut and let's hide the session plane. Okay, now we need to update the scene number two. Now let's check the scene number one. And once again, that relation should not be in this scene. So get into this group and unhide the session playing and select this and right click and choose edit cut and hide the scene i mean hide the plane and update the scene number one okay this is scene number one and this is scene number two with only column stretcher now we need to create one more scene for the railing so right click and choose add okay in this scene the railing should be appear so unhide all the session play and get into this session play and select this and right click and remove the check mark from edit cut. Okay, we only want to see the railing. Uh, we need to hide the session play. So select it and hide it. Okay, now we need to update the scene number three. Now you can click on each scene to check the result. 
Okay, look like my animation is jumping because my graphic is not fast enough. Okay, let me show you the animation. Okay, let me explain this concept uh, one more time to understand it clearly. I'm going to use the first column stretcher. So let's go to the edit and choose space in place. Now I'm getting to this groove and let's use the session play and place it on top. And let's move this session play in the downward direction until all the object has disappeared. Okay, now we need to check scene number three. Okay, in this scene, this column should not appear. So we need to fix that. So get into this groove and unhide the session play. And select this session play and right click and choose a take cut and hide the session play. And you can adjust the camera position if you want to. Now update the scene number 3. Okay, this column stretcher also should not be appear in scene number 1 and 2. So we need to check on those scene. So click on scene number 2. Okay, now we need to fix this. Once again, can you do this group? And unhide the session plane. And select this session plane. And right click and choose edit cut. And again, hide the session plane. And adjust the camera position if you want to. And update the scene number 2. Now let's check scene number 1. Okay, let's fix that. So select it and right click and choose edit cut. That procedure is same as before. Now let's do the same to the right column. Select this, right click. And choose edit cut and hide all the session playing. Okay, all the object has disappeared. Now right click and choose update. This is scene one with no object. And this is scene 2 with one column stretcher. And this is scene 3, column stretcher and railing. Okay, now we need to create one more scene for the other column stretcher. Okay, in this scene number 4, the column stretcher should appear. So unhide the session play and get into this session play and select this and right click and choose edit cut. Okay, uh, we don't need to see the session play, so hide it. Now, update the scene number 4. Okay, if you want to, you can adjust the camera position. And if you satisfy with the view, you can update the scene number 4. This is scene number 3 with no less column stretcher. And this is scene number 4 with the less column stretcher. Okay, this is working perfectly. I hope you got the idea how to create your session play animation. Now you should try this in your real model.